So I have some cocoa powder and oat flour, baking powder, and a dash of salt. What we're gonna add to that is a half a cup of the milk of your choice. And just get it started here. And some maple syrup. You're like, what are you making? What are you making, Marissa? Dude, I am making some vegan, gluten-free chocolate pots. We're just gonna add some maple syrup. I'm sure you could do agave too, or honey. But you know what, we had maple syrup. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn these into peanut butter, or the nut butter of your choice, vegan gluten-free chocolate pots. So I'm just gonna put a little blob of peanut butter in the bottom of each of these little ramekins. And then, let's scoop this batter right over the top. This recipe today is dedicated to my friend Jackie. She has been sugar-free and eating clean for over 100 days. Great job, Jackie. So I'm gonna pop these in the oven. Clearly, I'm gonna make two more. These only took me uh, less than four minutes to get all this together. So now we're gonna pop them in the oven for um, about 10 minutes. See you then. These are very hot. They just came out of the oven. And I'm digging it. Oh my gosh. Look, at, it's, it's like, it's like a little, cookie on the top, but then you get inside and it's, it's a gooey and like mousse-like. I love the peanut butter at the bottom. Let's taste. It's so steamy too. Mm. It's like, um, it's like a really dark chocolate brownie. And, but like the middle, not a corner. Mmm. 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 So if you're looking for a fun treat, four minutes to make it, ten minutes to cook it. I'm not even cooling it. I'm just digging them. It's sweet without being sweet. You know what I'm talking about? I'm not peanut butter. This is, this is definitely a treat. So Jackie, you gotta make it. Have a great day, everyone. A gluten-free, dairy-free, sugar-free day. Not every day has to be that. Unless you're on that clean eating, then you should do that. And you can eat this every day. Bye.